Hey, good morning, friends. Happy that you are here. Good morning. Glad to be back. Excited to be starting something new. Uh, we've been, we haven't been hanging out as much the last couple weeks. So I always enjoy taking a break uh, between studies just to kind of recalibrate and reset and see what the Lord has planned. And frankly, just to ask him, hey, do you want me to keep teaching this? Um, and so I just want to be real clear about, you know, what the Lord says and everything. And uh, I'm excited to be back. Actually, I'm not going to be the one teaching. I've invited some of my friends to come and hang out with you and teach you about things that the Lord is putting on their heart. And so I'm so excited over these next few weeks uh, for them to come and, and hang out and for you to hear what they have to say. And I um, am so excited to be kicking off this morning with my friend, Jamie Fielder. We've been friends for like 112 years or something like that. Um, she's awesome. You're going to love her. She's, uh, sh I'll let her introduce herself, but uh, she's just a, an amazing uh, woman of God. I'm so proud to know her, so proud to, to watch her faith journey, so proud to walk through faith with her, and so proud to learn about uh, warfare with her. She's an amazing uh, mother, and um, I know actually that she's, uh, wrong side, she's this kid's mom right here, Jackson, that you see in all of my videos. That's my little buddy. Uh, she is his uh, mama, and man, she is an amazing mother. Anyway, she really needs no introduction, but I just gave her one anyway. Cannot wait for you to uh, hear her teach today on how to be warfare ready as a parent. So, without further ado, here is my friend, Jamie. Good morning, friends. How's everyone doing so far this year? While everyone's jumping on, I'm gonna just quickly introduce myself. I am Jamie Fielder. I'm the wife to Stacy, the mom to Jason and Jackson, and the dog mom to our new pup, Jasper. Um, a little bit about myself. I absolutely love um, all things outdoors. Um, we're a camping family. Um, any opportunity we get to be outside in nature, we try to jump on that. We love adventure, being spontaneous and going on road trips, uh, photography, coffee. Those are just a few of my favorite things. So that's a little bit about me. I've been a longtime friend of Sunday Joe's, um, well, 20 plus years now. And when she invited me to teach this morning, I was super excited to just share some things on my heart, um, specifically about being a mom, um, being warfare ready in parenting or as a mom. So um, I think that uh, let's just go ahead and open in prayer and we'll dive right in. Oh Lord Jesus, I just thank you so much for the opportunity to be here and share my heart, Lord Jesus, the things that you've put upon my heart. And Lord, I just want to take this opportunity to pray blessings over each person watching this video and for their families, Lord Jesus. I speak against the attack on the family unit and I just pray blessings on the people watching the videos, on their children, their grandchildren, Lord, that you would just be upon them and that you would watch over them, that you would bless them with good health this year and, um, just keep them in the palm of your hands, Lord Jesus. Guide them in every step that they should take in this new year. It's in your mighty name we pray. Amen. So there's something that I want to just get out there. Um, when Sunday Joe asked me to do this, I was super excited. Um, but initially I was like, oh, you know, I'm not an expert at warfare. Um but that doesn't mean that I can't share things. Um, I'm not a parenting expert, but I'm a parent. I'm not a warfare expert, but I intercede on behalf of my family. Um, so just those two things alone made me excited to go ahead and just share with you guys this morning. So um, there's something that I feel like we should go ahead and talk about. And I want to say that as a parent, I have two boys 
Um, they are 19 years apart. So that is another story for another day. And just, it, it's a God story. But I have learned a lot through my parenting journey. And I have done a lot wrong. I still am going to continue to make mistakes because, hey, we're human and that's what we do. But one of the biggest things that happened, and I have to say that it's happened over the last couple of years, is that my perspective in parenting shifted. And actually, I believe that it shifted when I was studying warfare. So I started thinking about parenting through the lens of warfare. And when I did that, so many things in our family changed. The dynamic changed for the better. Um, because I believe that we were honoring the Lord in bigger and better ways. So one of the key points that I want to drill home um, with you guys this morning is when the going gets tough at home, when the going gets tough in parenting, in your marriage, we have to look at that through the perspective of warfare. When things are getting tough, that just means that we are fighting hell in those moments. And we can crumble under that or we can rise above that. And I have this little simple sign here right behind me today because it can be as simple as that. We can stop in our tracks and say, not today, Satan. And I want to encourage you guys to do that because that alone is power. We just have to take authority in our homes. And, you know, we all have children at different ages. Some of us grown, some of us toddlers, babies, teenagers. Oh, teenagers. Um, so I just want to encourage you. In the hard moments, yes, there are days that we will get frustrated and we will make mistakes. But if you can invite the Lord into those moments and rebuke the devil, you're going to see significant change and blessing through that. Um, one of the main scriptures that I wanted to um, just share with you today, and I know that everybody has heard it before, and I'm... I'm thinking that my perspective might be a little bit different. And I just want to encourage you that you read this scripture, you pray about it and what the Lord puts upon your heart. That is great. But I just want to share what the Lord has shared with me through this scripture. So I'm reading out of the NIV today. It's Psalm 127, three through five. Children are a heritage from the Lord. Offspring, a reward from him. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior are children born in one's youth. Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. They will not be put to shame when they contend with their opponents in court. And again, that's Psalms 127, 3 through 5. And I know so many friends who hang on to this scripture and um, they use it as basically a life verse in their parenting and focus in on shooting out their children like arrows, you know, preparing them for the world to just um, send them off. And I love that. I, I believe that that is definitely one of the things that the Lord wants us to do. But for today, I just felt led to focus in on that verse five. They will not be put to shame when they contend with their opponents in court. And that word contend, like the Lord just, I, it penetrated my heart when I read that scripture earlier. Um, I Actually, I think it was around Christmas time. So it was last year. Um, but I've been soaking um and studying that a little bit, and I just cannot get that that word contend out of my mind and out of my heart. Um, so I want to just challenge you um, that throughout your parenting journey, no matter the age of your children, that you do take the opportunity to contend, to hold the line, to compete, 
to fight for your family, for your children. We have to do that. Friends, the enemy has had an attack on the family unit since the beginning of time. And it is time that we rise and we do hold the line. We say no more. Not today, Satan. Not tomorrow. So that was the biggest thing um, that I wanted to share with you. I know that parenting is hard. The most valuable things in life are hard. So just remember that. Um, there are two things that I wanted to share with you before um, we go. And the first is keep your eyes open and take spirit, spiritual authority when needed. Don't hesitate to jump in and contend, to hold the line, to fight for your families. And number two, as your children mature, teach them to intercede for themselves, to intercede for their families. You as their parent will know when they're ready. I have a five-year-old at home and there are times when he stops and prays. He's ready at a certain level. So as children age, when you know they're ready, help them stop and pray. Help them to fight the battle for themselves. You doesn't mean that you stop. We as parents, I don't think we'll ever stop interceding on behalf of our children, or at least I hope not. But we can do our best to invite our children to do this. Not today, Satan. Take authority in that. Before we go, I wanted to read um, just this quote that I heard actually um, from Rhonda Stoppy. She's an author of a great book, Moms Raising Sons to Be Men. And she said this, and I loved it so much. Prayer is the most neglected resource that parents have at their disposal. Let's think about that for a minute. Wow. Prayer is the most neglectful resource that parents have at their disposal. It's the most neglected. Let's change that. It's time to stand up, to rise above, and let that be the first thing that we run to. And then we could seek out other resources if need be. Well, it has been an honor and a joy to be here with you guys today. And I hope to see you sometime soon. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and he be gracious to you. If I could sing, I would sing the song, The Blessing, over you. You guys have a blessed day. Oh man, I told you you're gonna love her. She's amazing. Uh, I love that word contender. That, that makes so much sense. You are a contender for your family. You are a contender for your kids. You're a contender for your husband, your wife. Um, and so what a what an amazing word picture to go, you know, I'm a, I'm a visual person to go out and let, so it's like, you got these boxing gloves on, right? And, and, and Jesus has given you authority, right? He's given you authority. So as you go out and contend for your kids this week, remember that, that Jesus has given you the authority to, uh, contend for them. And, uh, what a way to go out that song, the blessing I will, uh, try to share that in the links. If I forget, please remind me. Um, anyway, if you want to, if you got any questions, feel free to ask. I'm sure Jamie would love to answer them. Just leave them here in the comments section and I'm sure she will be glad to answer them or I'll make sure that she gets them again. Thank you so much, Jamie, uh, for sharing. And, um, I'm excited. So as we go out this week, just remember, um, you're a contender. You're a contender for your family. All right. I can't wait to see you uh, next week. Let me just pray over us. Let's do that. All right. Lord, thank you. Uh, just as Jamie said, may, may the Lord bless, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you. Lord, uh, thank you for all of those watching today. Lord, specifically for those parents, show them how to step up their warfare game, Lord, and realize that, that 
it is such a gift and such an honor to pray for their family, Lord. Show them what to pray. Show them how to pray. Show them to stand. Show them how to how to stand up against the enemy because you have given us the authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. So I just pray blessings over everybody watching this this morning and, and, and those who will watch later, Lord that they are blessed, that they are strengthened, that they are strong in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All right. We'll be back next week for another guest speaker, another surprise, and I am excited for you to come and hang out with us. All right. So we'll see you next week. And remember this, God said it. I believe it. That settles it. Bye-bye.